It has been a second since we chatted. I'm currently in Bend, Oregon, and I've been here over the last two weeks, and I've been caravanning with seven or eight other solo women. But over the last couple of months, I've been pretty silent because of what happened with auto. It's It's been weird. The highs are high and the lows are low. It's been four and a half months going on five months, which sounds crazy to me and i've been really prioritizing just like focusing on my emotional needs and healing and atlas and his emotional needs and needing to be needed all the time because him and his brother were a bonded pair so i'm gonna eventually make a video all about auto and auto story and everything that happened for the time being i just want to take you through our day I, I love this lifestyle. But the tricky thing about this lifestyle is stability and friendships. Because I, I could not make a friend. The other thing about solo van life is you're constantly making every decision. A couple weeks ago, I was just in a really, really poor mental health situation where I was in Colorado. It was like June, early June, still snowing. A lot of my friends had left and I had a decision. Okay, I'm gonna come back to Colorado in three weeks when it's ready. Do I want to drive 16 hours to be with a group of people that I know and I love? And do I want to be in an area that I know and I love? So I decided to drive 16 hours to Bend, Oregon, my favorite van life place ever, just so I could be and I wouldn't have to make all of these decisions because I already know where everything is because I've spent so much time here. And lo and behold, I'm at the farmer's market and I see one of my friends that I had met about a year and a half prior. And she said, oh, I'm caravanning with a bunch of other solo women. Do you want to come um, and tour the farmer's market with us and work at a cafe with us? And I said, absolutely I do. And that's how it started. I have been in a caravan with eight solo women for the last week and a half, and it has been, oh my God, some of the most rewarding moments that I've had in van life so far. There is nothing like someone who understands, let alone a group of people who understand what you go through on a daily basis. I know the internet talks about like van life, you know, so glamorous, but alone when you're making every decision and every decision feels like a monumental decision. Laundry takes, you know, a full day. Figuring out where to camp sometimes takes a full day figuring out you know cafes and city parking it is a lot and all of these women lighten the load and that's what i love about van life so much is you don't get this in in real world you don't get eight women who live separately independently in a van helping each other we are we are living as one in a community The exciting part is this is a rare moment. And you know, the sad part is this is gonna go away. We all leave each other in a, in a couple of weeks. So that's why I'm really excited for today. We have a really fun day planned. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. So it is a Friday night and after a long day, not a soul, not one of us wants to cook. And we wanna have a little fun. Like it's a Friday night, all of us had really busy work weeks. So what we're gonna do tonight is have a pizza party, which is stoked on. And then we're gonna do a tie-dye party for dinner tonight. We are ordering Domino's. I love Domino's. I've been going to Domino's for years, decades, honestly. And they just launched something really, really, really cool. It is pinpoint delivery. What you can do is literally drop a little pin and it's gonna deliver to you. So we're at a campground and this is like a luxury in van life i have ordered dominoes to my van before but i always have to put in an address so one time i like remember putting it at, at like a gas station and then it came and i was like um deliver to white van call me when at gas station and so that is one way but this is incredible because now i won't feel so awkward being like please call me when you're here you actually can track where your driver is um, and you can also hold up like a little sign like domino's pizza and then they'll deliver it to your campsite so i'm stoked <laughs> this is now an option so we're gonna get ready for the pizza party and the tie-dye party and the clothing swap party this is my mirror i've had this broken mirror sorry if this is bad luck to you i've had this broken mirror for two months and i have yet to replace it i probably should replace it someone tell me to replace it i rarely put on makeup in the van but i've also noticed so being in the in the van for two and a half years i miss putting makeup on 
Is someone's monitors going off? Is someone dying? Taylor? Oh! <laughs> you know how I get with the CO monitors. And voila, we are ready for a pizza party and a tie-dye party. All right, <laughs> you got it? Yep. Okay, thank oh, you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I feel like this is the most people I've camped with in a really, really, really long time, which makes me so happy because I've been pretty much either alone or with like one or two couples. And most of these are all solo female women. You are Gucci. <laughs> There's only five steps. <laughs> Vibe. <laughs> it is a vibe. I like that color. I don't see the tag.